Okay, awesome. So we are in Pan, we are in PyCharm. I've created a Python file called Pandas Tutorial, and I'm just going to say Pandas Tutorial Series. Exclamation marks to add a bit of emphasis on how cool this this uh, library is. So I guess the first thing that I'm going to show you is how you can import and install Pandas. Okay, so the first way that you can install Pandas is by going to your terminal and just typing in pip3 install pandas and if you press enter it will hopefully install pandas as needed okay awesome so mine is currently down in pandas yours will be doing the exact same thing if you do this what's worth mentioning is instead of pip3 install pandas you may just have to write pip install pandas it completely depends on your operating system so whether you're on linux windows or mac i'm on a mac so i typed pip3 install pandas and it is now installing pandas for me ready to use so once it's done that you've got pandas installed another way of installing pandas if you're a little bit confused with how pip works you can actually install it into pycharm itself so the way that we do that is you will go up to pycharm preferences You'll go into your project, so mine is Code of the Future, you'll click Python Interpreter, and then you'll just click this plus arrow, this plus button here, click Install, and all you'll type is Pandas, oh, Pandas, and it will be down here, and then all you do is you click Install Package, it will install the package, and then you'll click OK. So once you have done those, either of those two things, what you will say is Import Pandas, and what will happen is no error will come up. If you haven't imported them, so if you did this before, you know, installing them, you would have a red line under here because Python is like, well, I, I don't know this library, we don't have it imported, or we don't have it installed, so I, I'm not familiar with it. But once you've installed it and imported it and everything, it will look exactly like this. Now, something that I like to do as a shortcut is import pandas as pd. So what this means is when you start to do, you know, things with pandas, you don't have to write pandas dot, you know, whatever, you can simply just put pd uh, and then it will do exactly what you want it to do. So it's just a little bit of a shortcut. Uh, you don't have to, but this way, you know, I'd highly recommend it because I will be using this version when I start coding. So I'll just be using the shortcut PD for pandas. So that has been the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel even further, then hit the subscribe button and the bell notification with it so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also check out the donation link in the description of this video. But for now, I will see you all in the next video.